Good morning, good morning, everyone. This morning, like I do every morning, I um, drive 30 minutes away to a different town to go to work. And not only do I work in this particular town, but my daughter goes to school here as well. So I have to take my 13 year old to catch the bus every morning before I come to work. And so, as I said, it's a 30 minute drive. So we talk, you know, and we um, go over like um, things that happened in school the prior day, um, how she's feeling and stuff like that. She tried out for the soccer team. I bought her a new pair of soccer cleats and everything. And um, yesterday she told me that she didn't make, she didn't make the team. So I didn't look at her face when she told me, but once I had a chance to look at her face, cause I was driving, um, she was really upset and she was crying. And I was like, it kind of like broke my heart, you know, cause she's, she really had her hopes up high for that. And um, it was like a strike. And when, you know, when my children cry, I cry. So I'm driving her home yesterday and we're both crying. <laughs> But somebody sent me a message. I hate that. Uh, as I was saying is that this is why it was so upsetting for me is because she tried out for cheerleading um, a few months ago before this and she didn't make the cheerleading squad. So now she tried out for soccer and she didn't make that. So I'm like, you know, it's just saddening from, it's sad for me. And I know it's more sad for her, but I'm like, honey, you'll find your niche, you know? And I explained to her just because um, you didn't make the soccer team does not mean that you're not a good player. Maybe they were looking for something else. You know what I mean? I told her there's a lot of pro athletes that are professional ath athletes that were cut from basketball uh, earlier on were cut from basketball teams they didn't make uh, the baseball team and you know and then they end up being professional athletes later on in life so you know just because you were didn't make the team does not necessarily define who you are and um, who knows you might you might anyway I was like giving her a cheer up talk <laughs> pretty much but anyway we talked about that this morning and then we um we got on the subject on a good subject for um content this morning i told her i was gonna talk about it because i thought it need is some things that needed to, to be said to the black community right so what we were talking about is how black parents um Black parents condoning their, their children and their teenagers to have children. You know what I mean? Like, here's here's what I mean. I have a nephew. Uh, we're like close in age. Um, we went to school together. Uh, he's married and they have uh, two children. And his son, who was like awesome in uh, football when he was in high school, I don't know how old he is. He could be 19 now. 18, no, is he not? I think he, I don't know how old his son is. I know he's a teenager, I believe. But his teen, his son graduated like um, a few years ago. I guess maybe two years ago. And instead of going to college, you know, he he stayed home and got a job, which is fine because college isn't for everybody. Now, he was seeing this biracial girl, and um, she was in college somewhere in Philadelphia. And he was uh, driving up there to see her on weekends and stuff like that, which is fine. He, he wants to do that. But um, not too long ago, uh, I ran into my nephew, and he was talking about how excited he is that his son is seeing this biracial girl okay um he sounded just like a slave to me but you know i think the fact that she was biracial um made him feel like 
his son came up or something. I don't know, but I listened to him talk about it and watched the expression on his face, you know, and I was like, okay. You know, so then I saw him not too long ago on Facebook and come to find out uh, his son and this biracial girl had a baby. Okay. And they were so overwhelmed and excited about it. And I thought to myself, it's an epidemic. Why do black people um, applaud their young children to have applaud it when they have children, go out and make a baby. When their sons go out and make a baby, uh, they applaud that behavior. Um, when their daughters graduate from school and get pregnant and have a baby, black mothers um, applaud that behavior. I don't understand. I'm the type of mother, when my children get out of high school, and I do have one that just left high school, this is her first year in college, I don't encourage that type of behavior. I encourage my daughter to further educate, further um, seek further education, to further educate herself, okay? I would frown upon my daughter completing high school and, and laying around getting pregnant, okay? I don't think that's something to applaud or to be proud of. And I say it's an ep epidemic and the black community. I've seen it time and time again, how these little girls get out of high school, right? And uh, their 12th grade year or the year after they're pregnant and having babies. I'm like, what are your parents telling you at home? Okay, what? It's not sweet, it's not cute. Why not, when your children get out of high school, you encourage them to seek further education? Whatever happened to that, you know, and same with the black boys, the parents um, encourage their black boys to go out here and make babies, you know, that they're not marrying these girls, you know, they're just making babies and laying up in your parents' house. And I think it's an epidemic of that in the black community. And I think black parents need to do better i mean where in the hell did you get the idea that once you graduate from high school stay home and have babies don't you know that our black community we need some lawyers we need some teachers uh we need some doctors we need some uh firemen we need um scientists we need we need a lot in the in the united states out of our own people so please black parents stop encouraging your kids to not seek education okay i mean i don't understand why black parents do this shit. i have no idea but in my household i teach my children to further educate themselves i mean I don't want to put my daughter's, my teenager's daughter, my teenager's business out there, but we don't worry about boys, you know, um, although they like boys and I'm thankful, so thankful for that, <laughs> but we put education first before the boys in my household. Education, uh, that's how I raised my, my two girls is education is first. Every Education it's first with me education 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 i drill that into their head okay because that's like you don't want to be me sitting around on youtube and 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 working at um a car dealership do you do you want to be like me living paycheck to paycheck i and i ex i express that to my girls all the time you don't want to be like me you want to be better than myself okay and I myself, I didn't even like have children until I was a grown, grown woman. I was in my 20s when I had my first child. Okay. So why these little 16, 17 year old children are making babies instead of getting themselves educated, you know, I have no idea, but I think it all stems down from the parents. You parents need to educate yourselves 
and then edu better educate your children. Talk to them at home. D don't be encouraging them to go out and make babies. Encourage them to further their education. Okay, I don't think it's cute. I really don't. And another topic that I want to... Oh, and I did discuss that. Me and, me and my daughter had the biggest discussion about that um, on the way to take her to the bus. About, you know, what I just told you. I, I don't approve of black young black boys and girls graduating from high school and then and and staying home and making babies i don't approve of that i don't think it's cute and it's it's running rampant in the black community and i do not support that not one bit another thing i wanted to go over with you guys is uh i've seen um black men attack black women verbally disrespect black women verbally and other black men stand around and look okay i've not only witnessed this more than once but it's happened to me on occasion where i was verbally attacked by a black guy um and i was i was at a barbecue i think i talked about this before i was at a barbecue and i was talking to holding a conversation with one black guy and um it was a lot of men there at this barbecue very few women and i was in a conversation with one black guy and um another guy was like uh eavesdropping on the conversation i was having which i wasn't aware of so i had made a statement to the guy i was talking to and all of a sudden, the guy that was eavesdropping snapped out on me. Okay? So, being me being the person that I am, I snapped back. So, we was doing a back and forth. I was yelling. My arms was flying. And uh, both of my sisters were with me. And they came and grabbed my arm and pulled me to the car. So, I opened the car door and I stand up and I say a whole bunch of explicitives to the guy and whatnot and then my my sister just pulled off in the car and it, my point is is that it was like about 15 other black men out there at that party and not one of them intervened not one of them you know and i also had cousins out there which are men they did not intervene you know Actually, it, it was a barbecue at my cousin's house. <laughs> and they did not protect me. Nope. None of the black men out there, not even the guy I was talking to, did not protect me or defend me or say, I mean, I'm not saying you had to fight the guy, but couldn't you just say, hey, that's enough, you know? And my cousins could have said, hey, you got to leave. You, you're not going to talk to my uh, cousin like that. Nobody defended me. You know what I'm saying? Not even my sisters. <laughs> I was there freestyling by myself, you know? And I'm like, what the hell? I'm being verbally attacked by this Negro and all the other damn black guys are standing around acting like nothing's happening. So you know what I did? I never went back to that house again. It was sort of like a hangout spot. I stopped speaking to my cousins for not defending me and i don't even like associate in that area anymore and my sisters can't believe or believe it or not my sisters came to pick me up the very next day and asked me did i want to go out there and hang out and i looked at them i said no i do not and i never went back ever since that argument i had with the little damn negro okay i never went back and my point is i think it is sickening that Black men stand around and watch other black men disres disrespect black women. I think it's sickening. I, I call black men that do that punks. Not only is the guy that's disrespecting the black woman is a shithead, but the guys that stand around and watch black women being disrespected are much more of a shithead than the person that's doing the disrespecting. I think it's a sad situation and that's an epidemic as well in the black community. You don't stand around and watch black women be disrespected. It's just, it's fucked up. 
You know, I don't have to be related to you for you to um, defend me or protect me or just step in and say, hey, um, you know, can't, let's stop this right here. Let's separate, Please, you know, something, not just stay in there and look at it. That's fucking stupid to me, really. How do you guys feel when you stand around watch a black woman be disrespected? Do you feel any type of way? Really, it's... Ugh. I don't understand the mentality of some of y'all. I just don't. I have another thing I like to talk about. <clears throat> the dumbass people, black Negroes who upload negative videos of their own people. I've seen a shitload of videos being uploaded of black people fighting each other. Of black people going into going into uh, was it Walmart, fighting, rolling all, all over on the floor. Uh, black kids in the streets fighting each other. A whole black people committing violence against black folks being uploaded uh, constantly on a daily basis to YouTube and to Facebook. And the black people that upload these videos, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What the entire hell is wrong with y'all? Do you think it's entertaining to actually watch black pe black people act a fool and hurting each other? The world we live in, do you think it's smart to be uploading shit like that? I think pe black people who upload those dumbass videos of black people hurting each other, I think y'all worse than a fucking slave master. Really. You oppress yourself when you do shit like that. You know? And I guess it must be entertaining because they be getting like over a million views for that dumb shit. And I bet you most of those million views are white people or not even just white people. Asian, Hispanic, all of them just looking at us shaking their head like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we shouldn't care what other races think. And, and I don't. But I care about you uploading negative videos of us. Okay? I want y'all to fucking not even view shit like that. And I always, when I see it, I, I click right past it. I don't even view the shit. You know what I'm saying? Or if I do view it, I'll go into there and I say, Black people, why are y'all uploading shit like this? And then I'll just click out and go on about my business. Okay, I've said what I had to say today. Um, please like and su subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to share. Toodles.